Hey there, flippers, and welcome back to the second part of my uh, adventure, shall we say, into buying a storage unit. So in today's video, we are going to start sorting out all of the VHSs and having a look, see what is worthwhile, and just having a, a bit of a sort out, really, because as you can see, they are everywhere. We've got the whole pile over there filled with VHSs. We've got pile here. The camera itself is actually sitting on the biggest pile. I think the pile's up to... <laughs> it's off the camera. It's so high. Um, I'm, what, six foot two? And I have to, cr I have to look up. <laughs> There's probably about that much gap between the top of the VHSs and the ceiling. Um, so, yeah, the idea today is, is to go through as many of these piles in here as we can. Um, obviously, I'm not getting to all of the bags that we've got in the living room and the dining room. So I'm just going to try and focus on the piles that we've got here in the hallway. And what I want to try and do is get all of the Disney D uh, the Disney Disney DVD, Disney VHSs um, separated out into their own pile, and then start putting together some piles to take upstairs to the office and start scanning through, see what they're worth. And then from there, we'll then make a pile of the ones that we're going to list. Um, also, I know that there's, especially the piles that the camera's sort of sitting on at the moment, I know that there are some really good or really interesting DVDs from my perspective. Uh, not DVDs, VHSs. <laughs> we'll get there in a minute. Um, there's some really interesting VHSs in there. I know that there's a good little selection of WWE or WWF, as it was at the time, uh, VHSs. So some of them can be worth really good money. Um... Obviously, we've got the Disney VHSs. We've got, I know we've got quite a few Queen VHSs. And the last Queen uh, Queen set of Queen VHSs that I had sold really well and sold really quickly. So, fingers crossed, they'll be really good. And, yeah, just a bit of an update we'll do at the end of the video as well. Because we have started to make some sales from the key picks that we pulled out in the last video. So, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll... Uh, We'll have some good news at the end of the video. So let's get the high speed going and I'm going to start emptying out that pile first and we'll start getting that sorted. Okay, so I've got everything sorted out into some sort of order. It might look a bit chaotic in here at the moment, but I know exactly what is what. So we've got the stacks here and the stacks just there. They're all ones that are sort of just random titles that um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to scan. Uh, there's a mixture of both X rental and nor like normal retail versions. So I'm going to go through and have a look through them. The stack just there, that is all music related. Um, so you'll see there, if I go in a bit closer, we've got Michael Ball, we've got Queen, we've got the Osmonds, Lionel Richie, Cliff Richard, Bee Gees, loads of different music related uh, VHSs there. Just down there, we've got some Only Fools and Horses. Um, I've started picking out some bits that um, I'm going to make sets up with as well. Uh, so we've got Terminator there. I know that I've got Terminator 2 in one of the piles. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, the Never Say Never Again. That was uh, looks like an ex-rental. So I pulled that out just because I wanted to have a look at that one. Uh, what we got? Ah, just here. All of the Disney VHSs. Um, there is 23 in the original Disney Classic Collections that we need to look for. So we'll have a look at those uh, once we get upstairs. What else have we got? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Always pick those out because uh, last time I got a big... I think it was a Facebook Marketplace lot. I picked up a load of free VHSs and a player. They had the full set of free Lord of the Rings VHSs. They all sold really well really quickly. 
Um, just sold them off as a, a bundle. And yeah, I think they sold for about 12 to 15 pounds. So really good there. Always pick those out. Got a couple of the Star Wars Special Editions. Don't think they'll sell too well, but we'll see. Uh, we've got the live action Disney films just there. I think in addition, we've also got a copy of Hocus Pocus as well. Uh, then, as I was going through as well, I also found this. So, Muppet Fairy Tales, but I don't know if you can see it on the footage. It is brand new and sealed. So, really interested to see what that will sell for. Really, really interested in that one. Uh, then, yeah, we've got a couple of other sort of series that I've been pick that I've picked out. But yeah, some really, really good bits. Um, as I'm looking through, there's so many films here that I want to sit down and watch um, that I've either never seen or that I'd love to watch again. But what I'm really looking for when I'm sorting through all these is going to be films that haven't be ever been released on DVD or Blu-ray. Um, if you can find those, those are the ones that are going to be really expensive. But uh, yeah, let me start moving some of these upstairs now. And then we will have a look and we'll start scanning through them and seeing what ones are going to be worth selling on their own. Or we'll look to sort of do a probably the ones that I can't sell individually. I may just look to sort of do a big bundle, um, stick it up on Facebook for someone to come and collect. Probably sort of a tenner, something like that. But yeah, so let's go upstairs and we'll have a look. Okay, so I've got the first set of VHSs upstairs. I've got my tablet and my barcode scanner. So I'm gonna start going through, scanning each of them. So literally all I'm gonna do is click on the search field, scan it with that, there it comes up. But what I am gonna do is I am gonna go down and look at sold listings, which there isn't any. So we'll go back and have a quick look. So we've got one there going for about six pound fifty, six pound. So about six pound on that. So yeah, that would be worth selling. So I'll stick that in the worthwhile pile. Uh, whistle down the wind. So let's have a look at this one. So straight off the bat, we've got five pound fifty, uh, seven pound, five pound. So let's go down to the sold listings. Nothing on the sold. So yeah, another five pounds. So this would be, these go, at, all the VHSs go as a small package. Uh, they're a bit too thick to go as a, a large letter. Um, but so what's that? That is gonna be two pound 85 on a second class. Um, 13p for the mailer. Um, and then about for five pounds, you're probably looking at a, about a pound. So you're looking at what, three, about four pounds. So you make about a pound on them. Nothing major, but considering we've only paid, it only works out we've paid about seven pound, uh, seven P per VHS. So that really um, is not too bad. And obviously VHS is super quick to take photos of. You do that, you do that. And then what I do, is, is I then do that as well. So three photos, lightning quick, um, and yeah. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish scanning, I'll, so what I'll, do is I'll scan this pile, um, and then we'll have a look at what we've got, and then we will um, we'll come back once I've done a whole load more. Okay, so I finished going through that pile, um, and or those two piles, sorry. Uh, originally, I had them split off into stuff that wouldn't scan, stuff that wasn't worth a lot, and uh, stuff that was worth selling. But I've now split them down a bit further. 
So we've got this pile here, which is going to make us a loss. Um, I think if I remember rightly, it's about 75p loss on um, the full Monty, which is a bit of a shame, but I didn't really expect that to sell sort of too well. So that will probably just go into a big Facebook lot that I do. Uh, we've then got this pile here, which sells for under a pound. Pro this is all profit, by the way. Um, so this will be under a pro under a pound. I think all of these work out. I think all of these are about four pounds. So after all said and done, it'll be about fourteen p profit in all of those. Uh, all of these here are is everything sub. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Actually, move that one there. There you go. So all of these are under five pound profit. So anywhere between, I think that farmer's daughter is probably the most valuable one in that pile, at just over four pounds. All the rest are sort of one to two pound profit, nothing major, but still worth selling individually. And then this final pile here is everything over a pound, pro, uh, over five pound profit. So yeah, a couple of titles there, but obviously we've got these two piles which will um, will sell individually. And then these ones will all go into a big sort of bundle lot. So yeah, not too bad on them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to probably spend the next few days until I sort of come back uh, going through the rest of the VHSs that are in the living room. And then, yeah, we will see uh, where we look at the end of it. What I'll probably do is the next part of the video will just, which you'll see in just a second, um, but it will just be the... Um, anything over between sort of a pound and four pounds and then anything over uh five pound just here so let me go and get started on that and i will see you in a bit okay so i have gone through um a a good chunk of the vhs's let's just say that um this is isn't all of it actually i've still got another two bags um that i've had to put aside just couldn't fit them on the table uh, with enough room to show off and explain uh, what we've got. So, in total, there were 258 DVDs that I have sorted through so far. Um, of that, 68 of them uh, were not worth reselling, uh, either for condition or um, there just wasn't any profit in them. So what I ended up doing is I ended up listing them on Facebook Marketplace, um, and basically ended up listing them for free so they've now gone um, and all in all they would have cost if they if i take into account what we've paid for everything they've essentially cost me four pounds and 48p but as i say 68 vhs's have gone i think it ended up being about three or four plastic bags full so yeah just makes it easier and it saves throwing them in the bin to be honest uh, then next up we have got i'll tell you what we'll start on this side first so this is a couple of piles of the vhs's that we've got that have, will get us between a pound and five pound in profit uh, in total we've got 155 dvds uh, sorry vhs's that will sell for uh, between a pound and five pound profit uh, total purchase price of all of them will work out to be about £10.85p. Um, I don't know if I've said, but it, I pretty much worked out that per item, it, uh, it's working out at about 7p. So, yeah, we're getting pretty good profits on a lot of things. Um, total potential profit of all 155 VHSs, we're looking at a potential profit of £303.00 and 69p so yeah as i say i've got another two bags uh filled with vhs's and um that's all from this set then we'll move down a bit and we've got a we've got three vhs's here i have got another one to go with these but it's kicking around somewhere in my office um these are the ret vhs's so unfortunately they've got mold um on the actual cassette so there's not really what you can do with them. And yeah, um, unfortunately, yeah, not going to be able to sell them. So uh, total purchase price of all three, we're looking at 28p. So not, uh, not a massive loss from that perspective. 
but where the big loss does come in is the potential profit that we've lost out on so if we were able to sell all three uh, we would be looking at a profit of 81 pounds and 65p so yeah quite a uh, a big chunk out of our profits there but as i say it is what it is um i'm more looking at it from a perspective of it's own, we've only lost um 28p then we move over to the five pounds and above profit um vhs's and we've actually got a dvd in this one as well um so there are 36 uh, VHS is that fall into this category and total purchase price of all of them would be two pounds and 52p I will say there is one VHS missing from this pile um, and that is purely because it is not it's not YouTube friendly um, it is actually a 1980s adult VHS uh, but what did surprise me was that I can actually sell it on eBay I thought stuff like, I thought you weren't allowed to sell anything like that. Um, but when I was actually looking up to see if I could find a price for it, I was getting multiple eBay listings appear. So looked into a bit more, um, read the eBay terms. And yeah, there's no, there's no rules against me listing it. So I will be listing it. I think I can list it for about £15. Um, so yeah, that will be a... Uh, a good bit of profit but out of these ones the actual top earners are the five down the bottom here so we'll start off here of our number five which is going to be the royal tournament last run this sells for about 20 pounds and that'll be a four pounds and nine p profit we've then got our first big box which is breeders uh never heard of it um yeah don't know anything about that uh, that also goes for £20, so that will also be a £14 and 9p profit. We've then got Stormtrooper, another big box. This is a £23 VHS, uh, £16 and 71p profit. Then we've got this. So this is Muppet Fairy Tales. Uh, this is a VHS that was never released on DVD, so that will automatically increase its value. But what increases it even further, and hopefully you can see, is that it's actually still sealed. So looking this up online, I can probably list this for about £30. And that would be around £22.81 and p profit. Um, I don't think there's another uh, sealed version on eBay at the moment. But looking around at the pre-owned ones, they're still selling from anywhere between £20 to £25. So I thought I'll put £30 on it and see how it goes. And then the number one was this one. So this is a film called The Lace Makers. Um, it's a French film, I believe. And yeah, big box. But what makes this one so valuable is it is what is called a pre-cert. So this is a VHS that was released before certifications were released. So if we look at the VHSs up here, for example, you'll see Breeders is an 18, Stormtroopers is an 18. Um, most of them are 18s. There uh, we go. We've got Freddy Stars are 15. So all of those. No, the, the certifications were brought in, I believe... Was it 1982, I think, when video certifications were brought in? Um, I'll put a little message down the bottom if that's different. Um, but, yeah, the uh, if you can find a VHS that's pre-cert, it's pretty much guaranteed to be worth, uh, worth some good money. Um, and this one, so as I say, Lace Makers, this is a big box pre-cert, uh, £35 sale price with a potential profit of £27.17p. So, yeah, really good there. So, as I say, the total total sale price, uh, total, sorry, total purchase price of all of the above £5 VHSs uh, would be £2.52p. And our total potential profit, and I say that there's only 36 VHSs here, is going to be £356.82p, potentially. So, near enough equaling our one to five pound stack as well 
Um, and yeah, so let me switch to the other camera and then we will run through the total profit for all of the VHSs that I've gone through so far, my predicted profit for the whole unit, and also some sales that we've already had from the unit. So I will speak to you in a second. So some absolutely amazing VHSs in um, just that small batch that I've gone through, but there is still so much more for me to go through. Um, for example, I've not managed to go through any of the music VHSs that we picked out, um, but I'm probably gonna hold off on a lot of them, to be honest, because I know that through the big stack that's in the hallway and some of the bags that are in the living room and dining room, there are some more um, artists that we've already pulled out so i want to make sure that i can put together the best bundles that i can for example i f i swear i remember seeing about five or six different queen vhs's and from the vhs's that i've sold previously like that um they sell quite well so uh, yeah i'll probably hold on to a lot of the music vhs's until um i've gone through a, a fair bit more um, but also, as well, in that big stack in the hallway, there are about 10 wrestling VHSs. Now, I know that anything tied with wrestling can either be dirt cheap or massively expensive. Being VHSs, I'm hoping that they were never re-released on DVD, in which case that should mean that they will hold a nice bit of value. But until I can get to them, I think they're... They're in one of the front the front uh, piles, but they're towards the bottom, so I can't just slide them out without bringing everything down on top of me. So I am gonna have to sort through that pile before I can find out what those VHSs are and what they're worth. But with regards to the VHSs that we've pulled out so far, um, for the one, obviously we have, um, I have got uh, already got rid of the, facebook ones someone's already collected them and yeah as i say i just listed them for free and they come picked them up and yeah all good cleared out a bit of space for me only a tiny bit <laughs> but with the vhs's that we've got left we are looking at a potential profit of 660 pounds and 30p and what i've done is i've done a bit of a prediction so as I've said, I am estimating that there's about um, 2,500 VHSs. Um, I, ha I haven't got an exact number. I haven't been able to count them all yet. Um, but if we if we average what we've made on this um, this lot of what was it 258 VHSs, um, we could actually look at a potential profit of nearly six and a half grand so um, i think the exact number was six thousand four hundred and four pounds um so yeah just absolutely amazing if if i can get even a fra even sort of even a fraction of that then as far as i'm concerned this will all have been worth it um i was absolutely blown away with that um but as i say that is just a complete estimate um, I've got no idea. I could go through the rest of the VHSs and them all be worth absolutely nothing. Don't know yet until I actually go through them. But we do have a bit of good news because we have already had a couple of sales from some items from the storage unit. Now, this is some of the other bits. It's not v the VHS stuff. Um, this was the stuff that I showed at the end of the last video. Um, so the first one that sold is the Roberts RC36 radio cassette player. Um, I think all I had to do with this was change two of the belts on the cassette player. Um, other than that, it was fully working, absolutely immaculate. Um, and yeah, that's been gone for a couple of weeks now. So uh, yeah, I think we're all free and clear with that. I think I've even had feedback for that. So that one's all good. Um, that one sold for $34.99 um, after shipping fees and all the fun stuff. Uh, we made a profit of £27.02p. We then sold one of the action figures. So we sold the Mr. Miyagi uh, 1986 Karate Kid action figure. Uh, this one sold for 
uh, made us a twenty pounds and twenty uh, twenty pounds and seventy two p profit. And then the final sale that we've had so far is for a set of three of the um, mini D, uh, D, DVD rewriters. So these ones. So these are the eight, eight centimeter DVD RWs. Um, if you're into your gaming, they're basically GameCube discs. So yeah, sold a set of three of them for thirteen ninety nine. Uh, that made us £10.12 and p profit. And then, as I say, we've got the VHS bundle that we listed for free on Facebook. Um, that essentially cost us £4.48. and p. So our total profit... Uh, I've not got it written down here. <laughs> uh, it's the only thing I have forgot to write down. Um, I think it's uh, £53.00 and... 38p was the profit as a profit we've had so far yeah yeah about that 58 yeah i'm gonna go with 58 pounds um but how does that work out with regards to breaking even on the unit so we the unit essentially cost us 154 pounds that was with buying the unit for i think it was if i remember right it was 53 pounds i paid for the unit itself um, and then the rest was on petrol to and from the storage unit and also the crossing, the Dartford crossing. So we're into the unit for a £154. And with our £153 and 38p profit, uh, we have got a running total of negative £162. So, yeah, we're not in profits yet, but we have taken a good chunk out of the cost of the unit so far. So, yeah, we are getting close. I've still got a lot more stuff to list. Um, obviously, I am now going to go and get cracking with getting the VHSs that we've got here photographed um, and then get them listed probably over the next week. And, yeah, hopefully we'll start seeing some more of the storage unit go out. And I'm hoping by the end of January, to at least break even on the unit uh, maybe into a bit of profit but we'll just see um and yeah so that is going to wrap up the second video in our storage unit um it's not i can't really call it a series can we it's going to be two videos at the moment i've not got any more videos planned at the moment but i might do um an update in a couple of months time um just be sort of a, a random couple of minute video just giving you a bit of an update but yeah at the moment i'm not planning any other videos around the storage unit now uh, but i do potentially have some interesting videos coming up um i'm potentially i may be able to get out to a boot fair um at the beginning of february i'm still trying to work out whether i can get there or not um, but my wife has actually uh, was actually telling me last night of another boot fair that she's found. It's an indoor boot fair, so um, and I think it only runs once a month. So I'm going to look into it a bit more. Um, but if we, if I am able to get out to that, I should have a video out on that uh, towards the beginning of February. And yeah, that is going to be about it for today. So. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.